and it was really gratifying to be part of that team. The project is a collaboration between Operation Smile Morocco, Article 25 and STOW. You probably already know that Operation Smile is a global charity of doctors, nurses and dentists that focus on repairing cleft palate and cleft lip, which is a, quite a common birth defect. The impact Operation Smile have by performing the operation and the before and after care is really huge for these children. DOE assisted the project in quite a number of ways. They helped financially and especially helped with supplies of materials for the finishes in the buildings. And it was probably quite complicated logistics to get all that to site. And then um, Stowe also sent technicians to train the local workers in how to mix all these buckets of things together and then how to apply the finishes. One of the most effective advantages that Stowe could offer was the external insulation and finish material that come as a system that allowed us to put the insulation on the outside of the building which you can't ordinarily do if you just use plaster it's too fragile but the stone material is strong enough so you can do it and make the building much more comfortable in the fairly extreme temperatures of um, both winter when it's quite cold and summer when it's extremely hot. There were also uh, ad many advantages to using a medical grade flooring because this is a medical facility, has to be cleaned on a daily basis and um, needs to always look good. And the acoustic panels are also very good and beautiful ceilings, very nicely detailed and they help with the sound that hundreds of children will create when they are in a space. The design process and also the construction uh, was very collaborative with Operation Smile, doctors and nurses participating, as well as people from Stowe and having a lot of Article 25 people on site also. There were problems, like there are on every project, but people were always happy to put a solution forward and say, OK, here's how we can fix this. We were all there along with about a half a dozen surgeons and 31 dentists from a number of countries and they treated more than 600 children in two days which is just terrific. <laughs>